G'day and welcome back to the Curious Run Edition. Today we are going to the Guaha Arctic with our explorer, Huizinga. Unfortunately, we did not get Sir Dyer Il Ilimade, uh his wife from back home because she was a jerk and we had to try to arrest her and fail. So instead, we are going to get a particular idol from a village which totally won't be a problem, and we are going to get ourselves James Sterling Diplomat. Yes, indeed. He can carry two things, he's good at fighting, and uh, he also has this fun little ability to haggle. So that is something we will do. We might also eventually get rid of Mr. Barrel, the donkey. We could improve him, but no thanks. Let us purchase equipment now. Oh, we definitely need some more paper. Uh, what else do we need? We don't need this, but we can't sell it. So I guess we'll keep it. Uh, we Do we need this? No. Well, do we need the pistol? Probably, hopefully not. But we still have it anyway. We are going to the Arctic, which means we definitely should take along some snowshoes. Uh, we also should try and keep things that will help us maintain sanity. So, mmm, some delicious chocolate. And then, let's go with that. It's a deal. Alrighty, we have purchased equipment, we can't afford to do anything else, so let us set sail. Expedition 2. Okay, where do we go? You tell us nothing. I can access the ship storage and get rid of some things, but I think I'm going to try and keep them for selling. So let's go down this way. Okay, we still haven't seen anything, unfortunately. So let's head down here. Um, right now, the compass telling us where the idol is says it's somewhere down to the right. Also, Jim. Jim, fella, uh, maybe we will boost you. Let's actually just head down here first. Oh, we have found a village. Yes, definitely it would be a good time to boost someone. So this would increase our standing. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, no, it increases our sanity when resting in villages. That's nice, but I think I would rather either have a better painter or more bargaining power. Let's go with the better painter, actually. Okay, she is now even more paintery. Enter the, this village. There's a mysterious looking idol. Um, and what can we do? We can recruit potentially in this village. Okay, we need to trust, gain their trust first. We can trade with them. Okay, so this is what Jim does, by the way. He does this part, so he in his haggle effectively gives us some free trading, right? So we were effectively five units ahead. So I could get these for a fairly cheap price, which does allow us to get funds at the end of this. Maybe I'll do that. The other option would be to get animal teeth, which are good for trading, but not if you're buying them with traders. Honestly, I don't see anything else that I particularly would want to buy, so let's do that. I'll get rid of the flare in exchange for this. Let's also rest in this village. We unpacked our belongings and prepared to spend the night with the natives at the campfire. A young couple asked me to settle an argument for them. They seemed to want to know whether man or and woman were deemed equal. And we have... Ah, look, you can even do this. I didn't know that was possible. That's kind of neat. So we have a sexist amongst us. Oh, we need to obtain an idol, yes. I'm going to go with both are equal because I'm not going to say stupid shit even if this is a game. And even ever the mediator, I replied, both have the virtues. They smiled at me and nodded, and this made Rayad less happy with me. We will study the culture. We will paint a native. Yes, indeed. Look at this native painting. In our collection, whew, value 130 now. Uh, we can also try and steal the idol, or we can sleep. Let's see. We will try and steal the idol now. Yes! Ha ha! 
I'm sure this will not cause us any problems in the future. We pilfered it and departed swiftly. So, what I am going to do now is I am going to eat some chocolate. Ah, yes, right. Well, we are a little bit overburdened, which is not ideal. I just want to head back to the ship. And I'm going to eat most of our chocolate to do it, even though we're overburdened. Because I'm a sensible person. And so we get back to our ship. We return to the ship, we go to the ship storage and we dump both of those things. Because we want to keep them. Uh, we'll also dump the jewelry. The pistol I'm going to sell later, I think. Okay, now we will rest overnight here. Uh, we got pneumonia, or rather our... That sucks. What does pneumonia do for us? It's just minus negative health. Lost us time. We're actually going to rest a couple of times here. Okay. I probably should read these. I... God, no, it's surprising how easy it is to forget. Now we'll go back to the expedition. Let's go to the left. Oh, I did not realize there was a part that way. And we, oh, there's a station. We definitely want to make our way to a station. But I guess first we will head over here and explore a cave. We will explore in darkness. We thrive in the dark. Whew, only got one, really? The expedition would not be dejected by lack of torches. After a few steps, we were enveloped by the pitch black tunnel. I was surprised we forged through without any serious injuries. Could not tell how long we labored in the gloom, but eventually we saw a light and endeavored to reach the source. Okay. So, we can send in um, any of these people. Okay, this is definitely a foolhardy risk, but we're going to send in Vivian... Pupuche. We've got so many eyes though. We arrived at a small passage. Only one person could sneak through. She found skeletons of a long dead expedition with some valuable items they had no need for anymore like cash and chocolate and ropes and binoculars. We will dump these torches for those binoculars. It sounds wonderful. Look how much we can see right now everybody. We're still one slot overburdened. Oh, right, we didn't actually get rid of those torches when I said we would. Silly us. Okay, so let us eat some chocolate. Oh, okay, I did not realize that you could just arbitrarily use those that way. That's dumb. All right, we will now make our way to the Arctic Station across the thin ice and the treacherous treacherous north okay we have now we can visit the station now we can't rest though because we are unfortunately not blessed with tickets which were unable to, we were unable to purchase fortunately we have a trader we have Jim Sterling on our side diplomat extraordinaire and we even have jewels which are worth 20 here so we can even, we can trade all those things in and even buy some cheap, cheap canned food. Delightful. It's a deal. Then what we will do is we will... We could store things here. That's kind of tempting, actually. But we'll, first we will rest. We, I enjoyed his hospitality. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw some, some things scurry away in the shadows. And we will rest again. And we will rest one final time. Bringing us to 94 sanity. Delightful. Now we can totally use a dog sled. Yes, the dog sled will allow us to go to the other station. So let's see where that is. It's like free exploration. It takes time, but it doesn't take sanity. And we never get attacked by anything. We don't even run across ice and lose access to things. Marvelous. So. What is left here? I'm pretty sure this is our goal. Do we want to explore further? Or do we just want to win this thing? I think 
winning is the best. So let's do that. Oh wait, no, here is a temple, here is something else. There, there is almost certainly our goal. So let us examine this shrine, let us paint this shrine. I can see it from far away, a menacing temple-like building. Its size surprised us when we drew closer. Every step I took towards the entrance felt my mind strip moments from my memory. When the large portal opened, a gust of wind, uh, wind rushed towards me. It smelled salty like the ocean, but old like its most hidden, most ancient depths. Paint the shrine. Okay. I'm not actually going to disturb that shrine if first I've got an opportunity to disturb this one. But how can I get... Alright, let's do it this way. We're going to go down through here. So that we'll, then we can run back that way. Alright. And there's a reason for this. I want the shortest path possible between these two locations. Okay, we found an... And what killed... Sorry, under the cover of light snow, found awesome tusks and bones. This is a graveyard for woolly elephants of ancient times. The mammoths. Something large must have crashed here and killed the whole herd. Whatever it was, we could not find it here. But we could find some sweet ivory. Oh yeah. Take it. And we'll also then eat the rest of our delicious chocolate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now we will head to the shrine. Yes, indeed. The shrine we've spent so much time painting before. Oh, we can even level some people. We could potentially save up our exploration points. I think I'll save them for the next expedition. All right. Mount? Really? What? Wait. How does this... Oh! Oh, that's really interesting! So it reduces its carrying capacity, but then you can actually move more easily. I wish I'd known about this before. Alright, let's examine the shrine. Enter the shrine. I found weirdly shaped bridges inside that no human architect would construct. My mind was reeling in this room. Placed on the altar was a small worm-like creature writhing, feeling with its tendrils. I brushed it aside brusquely. And we will take all of these sweet things and a volcano shows up right there. So firstly, dismount. We are no longer overburdened. Okay, so, um, what can I do in this situation? Let's just, all right, we'll do this. Travel, all righty. We've got to do it this way. And travel through here, oh yeah. Explore. The goal was presented to us in the form of a pyramid made of gold. Overcoming all obstacles, we had survived. Enter the pyramid. After a few weeks of traveling, euphoria overcame me. I know that my name, Johann Huizinger, would be respected within the community of intrepid adventurers. Finish expedition. Splendid. Okay, so we can just in decrease our sanity cost. Are you kidding me? That seems fantastic. Just base sanity cost for traveling gone down by 25%. Woohoo. It's a deal. Okay. Everyone else is getting a ton of fame and fortune. How much did we earn? I don't know. I accidentally skipped over that part. So where are we at? Alrighty. We're at 785, 88, 89, 90. Okay. And that's before we do things like gift this idol, which no, we are going to keep because we have a quest related to it. But, ah, look at this. So this may say fame 10, funds 105. But actually, when we take it back to town, its deceptive nature is revealed. We have fame 100 or fund 60. Now let us gift this fine art to the club. And we will sell the ivory as is tradition, and we will gift this delightful golden llama. What else? We can sell the golden vase? No, we'll gift the golden vase, and here we will 
gift the anthropological studies, which are again worth much more fame than they initially appear. And the jewels will be sold for delightful cash money. And next time round, we have an idol to provide to our quest giver, and we will go somewhere else. We just went to. We're not going to go back to the Arctic. In fact, we can't. We can choose between the dark, dry lands or the magnificent desert. And I'll figure that out next time. Until then, have a fantastic day. Bye. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you spending the time and effort watching the videos I make. Uh, if you'd like to watch more, on the left there should be another video from this playlist. On the right there will be whatever YouTube recommends. And in the center there is a convenient subscribe button just in case you need it.